everyone and welcome to this video on Python frameworks by IntelliPart. All of us are somewhat aware of Python's popularity among developers. Various stats show that Python has beaten Java and made its own place on rankings. But when it comes to working with Python, one must be completely aware of which framework to use in order to create better applications. That is exactly what I will be talking about in this video. Before we begin the session, Make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. Hello everyone and welcome to this video by IntelliPart. But before we begin, do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. All of us are somewhat aware of Python's popularity among developers. Various stats show that Python has beaten Java and made its own place on rankings. But when it comes to working with Python, one must be aware of which framework to use in order to create better applications. That is exactly what I'll be talking about in this video. Now let's take a quick quick look at the agenda. Firstly, we'll see what is Python, then we'll move on to the benefits of using Python, then the disadvantages, what does framework mean, and then we'll see why use a framework, after which we'll see types of frameworks, and then we'll see the important Python frameworks. Now let's move on to our first agenda, that is what is Python. Python is a widely used and easy to understand object-oriented programming language created by Guido Van Rossum in the year 1991. This high-level programming language appeals to programmers because of its clear syntax, adaptability, GUI support, and portability features. Netflix, Facebook, Reddit, Google, and NASA are among the top technology companies that use Python for their application projects. Now let's move on to our next agenda that is benefits of using Python. The Python scripting language provides a number of advantages to its users. Nonetheless, here are some of the Python's main benefits. Python is not only simple to read and write, but its English-like scripting syntax makes it a popular language to learn and maintain. Python apps are also built at a rapid pace due to its simple coding structure. Python is also a versatile coding language that can be used to create a variety of online apps. Nonetheless, many programmers believe it is the ideal solution for security-focused apps. Another major advantage of Python that developers can reap the benefit of is its portability. Its code runs smoothly on a variety of operating systems, including macOS, iOS, Unix, Windows, and Linux. Other programming languages such as Java, Ruby, C, JavaScript, and C++ can easily be integrated with it. Its assimilation with C, called CPython, is also accessible on GitHub with over 39.7k stars and 19.8k folks. Python is a free coding language, which means that it may assist a wide range of organizations. So, whether you are a startup, a large corporation, or a little business, you can benefit from this language's high efficiency. Python is also also an established programming language with a knowledgeable and helpful community. As a result, if you have a code or project difficulty, you may readily locate various answers on or resources on the internet. Databases, browsers, threads, documentation, CGI, and robotic app testing are all supported by its broad library. Now let's move on to the disadvantages. Python has several advantages, but it also has a few disadvantages. Let's take a look at them. Although Python is quick to script applications due to its simple coding structure, Structure. However, when compared to other languages such as C++, JavaScript, and Java, there are certain speed difficulties, especially when developers compile code for large projects. Because it uses more memory, it is a good choice for programmers with restricted capacity. Unfortunately, Python has limited support for mobile apps. It may be an excellent choice for developing online applications, but it lacks the functionality required to develop mobile applications. As a result, it is not suitable for mobile computing. Python's layer for Dealing with databases can be improved as well. And now that brings us to our next agenda, that is what does framework mean? A framework is a collection of software modules, tools, and artifacts that provide theoretical and technical essential assistance in the development of application software. These frameworks could be utilized in the construction of many applications in the programming world. Yes, frameworks aid coders in avoiding errors and repeating scripts. The well-known frameworks for Python-based applications include Django, Falcon, Web2Pi, Bottle, and CherryPy. Let's move on to our next agenda that is why use a framework. 
Application or software development is a lengthy process that includes numerous processes such as testing, developing code, designing apps, and more. Programming frameworks are good for making these processes easier for software engineers. As a result, frameworks not only keep your development operations organized, but they also give the necessary structural support for your coding. Now let's look at the main reasons to program with a framework. Less development time. The ability of a framework to reduce development time is the primary rational for its use. By offering support for error, session, and data handling, coders will save time and effort. Developers don't have to worry about authentic logic or data sanitization while using a framework because these functions are handled for them. Next, we have improves the efficiency of the development process. The framework also organizes the app's features properly. The framework handles interface files and web directories autonomously using business logic, so developers don't have to bother about arranging different files. Next, we have safeguards the code. Frameworks also provide provide developers with excellent code security. Programmers don't have to worry about a cyber attack on the app script if they use a good framework. Frameworks in particular provide excellent security while designing web applications. Next we have community assistance. The majority of frameworks like computer languages are open source and have large communities. These forums provide answers and resources to aid fellow programmers who are new to the field. Next up we have CRUD. The four core functions of CRUD are also included in framework. You may easily create, read, update, and delete data here. In addition, framework libraries make it simple to manage sessions, approach databases, manage cookies, and HTML pages, all the templates, and so on. Next up, we have productivity is increased. Frameworks encourage rapid development, app deployment, and code reuse. As a result, it accelerates the development of your software. The ultimate benefit of fast app development that coders get while using frameworks is increased productivity. And lastly, we have here suitable for collaboration. Another advantage of adopting a framework is its ability to facilitate teamwork. Frameworks will provide several benefits, especially if you're working with large teams of engineers remotely. Similarly, your database professionals may handle data-related duties and experienced developers can create long-lasting plugins, libraries, and other softwares. Now let's move on to our next agenda that is types of frameworks. Python frameworks are usually classified into three groups. We'll go over them in detail. Firstly, we have full stack framework. A full stack framework is a structure or system that is utilized to meet all development requirements. This is essentially a one-stop shop for programmers who want to create and maintain client and server-side interfaces. Because it addresses all development-related difficulties, this framework is often known as enterprise framework. Django, Web2Py, and Pyramid are all solid full stack Python frameworks that that businesses and developers should consider for their projects. Next up we have Micro Framework. Micro Framework is a lightweight app development framework with a set of functionalities. To create an application, coders typically mix a micro framework with a full stack framework. Unfortunately, these frameworks lack form validation, database abstraction, input cleanliness, authentication, and a web template engine. The primary Python micro frameworks such as Bottle, Flask, and Falcon are only used by developers when they require critical development components. Lastly, we have asynchronous frameworks. Although asynchronous programming is an old method of creating applications, its use in Python has increased in recent years. In comparison to the underlying app threat, it is essentially parallel computation that works independently. It's typically utilized when programmers need to merge many networks that already exist. AIO, HTTP, and SANIC are reliable asynchronous frameworks that Python programmers can employ in their projects. With that, we will move on to our last agenda that is important Python frameworks. Let's take a look at the first Python framework. It is Flask. Flask is a Python micro framework that was released in the year 2010. It has robust API support in the IDE as well as advanced capabilities like real-time visual debugging. It also has backend database administration features. It is considerably easier to learn because it has a simple toolbox. Next we have Django. Django is a full stack programming framework that is one of the most popular on the market. It contains a lot of distinguishing features such as a large number of built-in libraries and 
and the usage of the ORM technique for database management. It is also one of the most well-optimized and speedy frameworks in the market that focuses on security. Next, we have Web2Py. Web2Py is a Python framework for full-stack development that has a lot of features. A code editor, debugger, and deployment engine are included. This Python framework also includes a web-based development engine that makes it easy to add speed and flexibility to any project. Next, we'll talk about Falcon. Falcon uses WSGI to make it simple to construct APIs and code on the backend. As a result, it is one of the quickest ways to code within an app. Falcon's design is based on HTTP and REST, making it a more straightforward solution for experienced programmers in this field. Next, we'll talk about Dash. Dash is a popular Python framework for developing online apps. Because it works with Flask to process requests over HTTP, Dash is perfect for data management developers. It can quickly deliver cross-platform apps and supports Flask plugins. Next, we have Cubic Web. Cubic Web is a full-stack Python framework that is open source and freely available. Instead of using traditional methods, Cubic Web employs a cubicle method which combines several components in one place and turns the program into a powerhouse, complete with configuration, a backend database, and a web server. Next, we'll talk about AIO HTTP. It is an asynchronous HTTP client server for the Python framework. It uses the AsyncQ library and supports Python versions higher than 3.5. It contains a variety of characteristics that aid in the faster and more efficient processing of requests and results. Next, we have StudyPy. StudyPy is a popular open source framework that has been around since 2002. This was created with the intention of being a simple way to implement the Python's framework vast capabilities. Because it is a mature framework, it can handle previous Python versions allowing developers to use old libraries. Next, we'll talk about Jotto. Jotto is an MVC-based framework that focuses on a functional application foundation. It enables the coder to start from scratch, concentrating on functionality and deploying alongside the front end. This promotes a clean style which reduces code complexity over time. It also aids in the development of a steady tempo prior to deployment. Lastly, we'll talk about Bottle. Bottle is one of the lightest Python frameworks accessible as each project source code is substantially less. This micro framework is useful not just for creating APIs but also for developing smaller web apps. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. If you want to make a career in data science, then IntelliPath has IIT Madras Advanced Data Science and AI Certification Program. This course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by IIT professors and industry experts.